The subjects of today's adventure are what are known as cephalopods. These marine creatures fall into a category referred to as mollusks. Other mollusks include snails, slugs, and clams. Cephalopods include squid, octopus, nautilus, and cuttlefish. Unlike their molluscan relatives, cephalopods have many suction cup covered arms and a prominent head which led them to being referred to as cephalopoda in Greek, meaning head foot. If the kraken were ever discovered to be real, then it too would most likely be a cephalopod. Dun, dun, dun! Cephalopods range in size from smaller than a thumbnail to the giant squids that fight sperm whales. They can be found everywhere from shallow tide pools to the dark, unexplored depths of the abyss. With over 800 known species, cephalopods are found all over the world and can be quite common. Some species, like squid, are sufficiently abundant to have a fishery centered around them, while other species, like the giant squid, are so rare that only recently have we been able to find and film them in the wild. While they may not look like much, cephalopods have very well-developed brains. A lot of what we now know about the human brain is thanks to squid. The squid has a giant axon, an important part of a brain cell. Scientists studied and subsequently learned a lot about how brain cells work and were then able to compare that to human brains. On a much tastier note, people often enjoy cephalopods not just by watching them dance around in the water or walk along the ocean floor, but actually enjoy squid much closer to home. One example is calamari, that crunchy and chewy bit of wonderful found anywhere from premier fine dining restaurants to your corner crab shack. Many cephalopods can release ink, which they use to confuse and evade predators like sharks and marine mammals. This same ink has been used by people for everything from flavoring foods like risotto to dyeing fabrics or processing photographs. These wonderful creatures have been the focus of myth and legend, ranging from the pirate ship eating kraken to the nightmares of the deep in the classics like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Many cultures consider octopus and squid as monsters of the deep that are to be feared. This is probably because of their alien appearance and their carnivorous diet. Cephalopod diets consist of everything from smaller animals like clams, oysters, shrimp, and crabs to larger and faster prey like fish. Cuttlefish are a prime example of a cephalopod's predatory prowess, which is largely due to their mastery of disguise. Cuttlefish, squid, and octopus have cells in their skin called chromatophores, which allow them to change colors. Cuttlefish and octopus also have small projections on their skin called papillae, which give them the ability to change texture. Octopus have a special ability to squeeze themselves into very tiny spaces. They are only limited by the size of their beak. This means that they can easily hide in small cracks and crevices on the ocean floor. This way, they are able to ambush prey when it swims by or avoid a predator. Dun, dun, dun! While the octopus is able to hide, the Nautilus has a shell like its distant snail relatives. This shell is truly a wonder of the world because it is what some mathematicians would call a logarithmic spiral. This means the size of the spiral will change, but the shape remains the same. These shells have gas-filled chambers which allow the Nautilus to control its buoyancy. They can also tuck into the largest unsealed chamber to hide from predators. While the Nautilus may not be as amazing a swimmer as its fellow cephalopods, not many predators find it palatable. The main predator it needs to worry about is its cousin, the octopus. The chambered Nautilus is an opportunistic predator eating dead or dying animals like crabs, fish, or even molted exoskeletons. Cephalopods are fascinating inhabitants of our oceans. They are not the monsters that myths, legends, and movies would have us believe. From masters of disguise to hunters of the deep, the cephalopod is a mysterious creature that can be enjoyed at the aquarium or at the dinner table. So the next time you see a tentacled monster, you can be confident in saying, that is probably a cephalopod, and they're really not so bad. Probably just needs a little lemon juice. Dun, dun, dun!